Around 1 million people in the U.S. who are older than 55 have epilepsy. The symptoms of seizures depend on the area of the brain they are coming from. In older adults, they can consist of generalized shaking or can be subtle and include confusion, staring into space, or sudden difficulty speaking. They can also consist of brief subjective symptoms, such as feeling suddenly disconnected from the environment, a sudden sense of familiarity in a place that is not supposed to be familiar, or a rising sensation starting in the stomach. In general, the same symptoms tend to recur. Epilepsy is a disease characterized by recurrent seizures. When someone has recurrent seizures with no apparent triggers, such as low blood sugar or alcohol withdrawal, then they have epilepsy. In some cases where someone has a seizure, but there are findings on brain imaging or brainwave testing that indicate a high risk of recurrence, they can also be diagnosed as having epilepsy. By far, the most common cause is stroke, whether due to vessel blockage or a brain bleed. Other causes include tumors, neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, and head trauma. Around a third of the time, we are unable to identify a clear cause. Tests that help with the diagnosis include a brain scan such as an MRI, a brainwave test, i.e. an EEG, and blood work. The EEG can vary in duration and at times needs to be prolonged for several days. In this case, options include a take-home EEG or an in-hospital EEG during an elective hospital admission. Fortunately, we have many anti-seizure medications available to treat epilepsy in older adults. The good news is that medications work in up to 80% of the cases but the key is to find a medication that is tolerable and can be taken daily. There are many things that you can do to lower your risk. These include not missing your seizure medications, focusing on getting a good night's sleep, taking care of yourself and monitoring your stress levels, and avoiding substances that can trigger seizures such as alcohol. Other lifestyle interventions, such as pursuing a healthy diet and exercise, will also help. There are risks associated with seizures themselves. The number one priority should be to prevent more seizures because they can cause injuries and in rare cases, death. Studies have also shown a link between seizures occurring later in life and increased stroke risk. As a result, it is also important to focus on vascular risk factors, such as high blood pressure, blood sugar levels, cholesterol, sleep apnea, and smoking. Finally, seizures in older adults may be one of the first symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, and that is why it is very important to notify your doctor if you feel that your memory is changing. Our group and others have been studying epilepsy in older adults, to understand its risk factors, how it affects the brain, and the best ways to treat it. If you are interested in learning more, please visit our website.